Hello Linux Mint users. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upgrade from Linux Mint 19.3 to Linux Mint 20. For this tutorial, I have installed Linux Mint 19.3 on a real system. Make sure that you are using a 64-bit system because you cannot upgrade to Linux Mint 20 from a 32-bit system. The first thing you should do is check if there are any system updates available. And if there are, install them. The next step is to create a system snapshot. So if anything goes wrong with the upgrade procedure, at least you will be able to revert to your original Linux Mint 19.3 system. For system snapshot, if you haven't created one already, go with the default settings. It gives you like daily, weekly or anything. At this moment, you just need to create one system snapshot. You don't need to worry about these things. Just go with the default settings. Personally, I prefer not to make a system snapshot of my home directory because what I prefer doing is to create a manual backup on an external USB of my videos, pictures, music folder. So that that's easier than doing this. That's just a recommendation you are free to create a system snapshot of your home directory as, as well but it will take a huge amount of space on your desk when you see this system snapshot screen just create one so this is the latest system snapshot you have now if you do not have another system which you can use later on if something goes wrong it shouldn't but if something goes wrong in that case, you should prepare a live USB of Linux Mint 19.3. So what happens is, when you have a Linux Mint 19.3 USB, if something goes wrong, you can boot from this live USB and just run the time shift and it, it will automatically search the system snapshot and you can restore to your Linux Mint 19.3 version if anything goes wrong. That's not gonna happen because the upgrade procedure is really simple. When you have a system snapshot, the next step is to disable the additional repositories you might have added. So for example, I have added Brave and Google Web Browser. The thing you should note is if you disable the repository and later on remove those uh, software installed with these repositories, in the case of browser, you may lose access to your bookmarks. Always keep in mind that you may lose some settings data if you are disabling the additional repositories and then removing them by using the downgrade foreign package and remove foreign package option. If you have some important application with custom settings, some custom configuration which you did manually, either back those config file or keep this application on the system, do not remove them. Will that be a problem? Thankfully, Mint upgrade tool does a sanity check of what will be done if you try to upgrade your system. I'll show it to you in a minute. So the next step is to install the Mint upgrade tool. It's a command line tool. There's no GUI tool here for you to do a click and install or upgrade stuff. So the Mint upgrade check this is the simulation command which will run a simulation of like what will be added to your system or whether your system will be able to you know upgrade properly or not so in my case everything looks fine the next step is mint upgrade download this will download the new packages required for linux mint 20. this will not install it it just downloads the packages from this point you still can revert easily with mint upgrade revert option there is an option which is described in the description this is the point of no return when you hit the upgrade button the only way to go back to your system is to boot from the live usb and then restore your system snapshot The upgrade is finished, reboot the computer, go to the menu and hit the power button and restart the system. 
When you restart the system, you will log in to Linux Mint 20 welcome screen. And voila, that's it. Enjoy Linux Mint 20. Have you already upgraded to Linux Mint 20? Comment yes or no. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and do subscribe.